The highly anticipated Miss South Africa crown in ceremony was held yesterday in Pretoria and just like every other competition or program in South Africa, there was no way that it was going to end without any controversy to it. Um, but saying that it ended with controversy would be an understatement mainly because Miss SA has been trending for the past two weeks of, if I'm not wrong and during those two weeks the, the discoveries that were made. Firstly, there was a case of possible uh, identity theft which was discovered and there was a corruption case also uncovered within the South African Home Affairs Department which is not a surprising thing to us South Africans because we know I'm pretty sure even a child in preschool probably knows that there is a lot of corruption happening within the government because that has been a thing for quite some time but yesterday the winner was crowned and it seemed like a lot of people were not happy with the selection um, mainly because they were hoping that it would be a black south african to win the competition and as a result of that a lot of people said that this whole competition is whitewashed and it's a bit racist in a way so i made a post on social media various social media platforms and i asked people do you think that miss south africa is a uh, is biased towards uh white women and is not favoring you know black south africans in a way and there is a comment that I'm going to get into in a minute, which was very interesting, which is also something that I said myself that, you know, there are a lot of things that they judge based upon. There is a criteria. And at the end of the day, it's unfortunate that we as the public do not have a decision on who walks away with the crowd because the judges are the ones who makes the final decision. We only have an opportunity to select who are the top 10, if I'm not wrong. Then the rest, we leave it to the judging panel, right? So, uh, here is a comment. Let me just jump into the comment. And the comment reads, No, in the past, we have had the likes of Zuzi Bimini, Tunzi, Win in 2019, and even won Miss Universe, so it has nothing to do with race in competitions such as Miss SA. And then he continues and says, They look at personality, number one. Number two, intelligence. Number three, how can South African girls relate to her? Number four, communication skills. And he continues to say it has nothing to do with race. And there's other factors that they usually look at, which is 100% correct. And it's one of the reasons why I chose to make this video because there was no better way that I could have explained this whole situation. But the controversy that I've also realized about this whole situation is that Nigerians now have joined the, uh, the, the conversation and they are claiming that South Africans prefer white women. And there's also something that came out saying that uh, the winner uh, is not fully South African. Um, we don't know the truth in that statement, but there's that statement and they're accusing South Africans for hating other Africans. You know, they are accusing them of hating black uh africans and they prefer white people over their own people so that's the conversation that we have right now we even had ben a boy joining the conversation and he still met at south africa because they they were against the nigerian being part of the competition now this is my two cents of opinion um personally i wouldn't say that this whole competition is racist you know because I just believe that at the end of the day we are never happy if the people we support never win nobody could be happy just look at football for an example we are never happy that our teams keep losing so it's kind of the same situation hence a lot of people resulted to claiming that this whole competition is racist um which i totally disagree with there is a lot that goes into this competition they observe the contestants they look at a lot of things and for an example, you know, a lot of people were expecting Wanalena to win. Uh, she failed to answer a question and it was live. So there were no retakes, there were no nothing. Everybody saw that she failed. So personally, I feel like uh, the win, considering the fact that I believe that she has a, uh, the winner has a sort of a disability. I feel like it's a pivotal moment in South African history because now people with disabilities, um, will gain more confidence from this whole thing um they will know that you know south africa includes them in competition and they won't feel excluded all the time so this is a very big moment in south african history and it's opening doors to future great people future confident great people in south africa so i want to know what you think in the comment section till next time peace